So we are back with a, another smart home video, a new smart home video. And thank you to TP Link for sponsoring today's video. They sent me three cool items that I wanna show you guys. They're a little bit more on the affordable price side of things. So you guys know I'm big into smart home stuff. Like I'm huge into smart home stuff. And these are a few new additions to my home that I want to show you guys. But if you're looking for ways to spruce up your smart home, these are a few items that I feel like you can definitely add to your place. Also, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So be sure to stick to the end so you can find out the rules and how to enter and how to win these three items. Okay, so they sent me three items like I mentioned. First, they sent me the TP-Link Tapo Pan and Tilt Home Security Camera. They also sent me the TP-Link Tapo Smart Wi-Fi Light Strip in Multicolor. And finally, they sent me the Deco Superior Mesh Wi-Fi using Wi-Fi 6. Let's start with the Pan and Tilt Wi-Fi Security Camera. So. You guys know I have security cameras in my home. So this is a new addition to my home. What makes this one different is the fact that it does pan and tilt and can surface an area of up to 360 degrees. This is incredible, especially when you need that full vantage view of your home. It comes with motion detection and notifications. It also has night vision up to 30 feet. It has three megapixels in high definition, as well as a micro SD slot in order to use for storage so that you can save all of your motion detection videos right to the camera itself. There is a cloud-based storage that you can subscribe to if you want. This camera right now retails for $29.99 on Amazon. So be sure to check out all the links down in the description down below. Everything will be listed down there. Setup for this was very, very easy. There is a QR code on the box here that you actually just scan it with your phone and it'll navigate you right to the app in order to do the setup for this camera. There are some positive and negatives that I have witnessed when it comes to this camera. Being in the smart home realm, I kind of know what I'm looking for and what I'm not, but this does have some great features as well as the motion detection in the app. You can go through the app and you can actually select certain times in which you would like to receive notifications that motion has been detected in your home. You can select the field of view and how sensitive you want that motion detection to be. It also has night vision. Unfortunately, it's not in color, but it's good enough for its actual purpose, which is to see what's moving around or who's moving around in your home. This particular model actually has a 2K resolution, which is really good. So we can get more of a high quality footage out of this camera. Again, it has that 360 view. It also has privacy modes. I love that you can control all of the motions right in the app. You can view this camera from anywhere outside of your home, in your home. You can pan and tilt and turn the camera around right from the app. It has controls that are very easy to navigate. You have a two-way talk feature where you can talk to whoever's on the other side of the camera. You can record certain events that are happening in the house. You guys, if you watch my latest video, you'll know that I am expecting uh, a little baby boy. So this camera would be awesome for mothers who have newborns who are looking for a security camera or baby monitor in their children's nurseries. So this one actually has a notification where it can detect if a child is crying. It can also trigger other automations, to let you know that the baby is actually crying. So I really like this. And again, that 360 mode in order to see how baby's doing in the crib or, you know, if baby's playing on the floor. This is something that I'll definitely take into the nursery when it comes. The one thing I did not like specifically about this was that I, I couldn't turn on motion detection specifically when I leave the home. You can do it physically by going into the app and turning on motion detection when you're away from the home. Uh, typically, I like to have that triggered by my geolocation of my phone. So when I leave the home, I usually have most of my cameras trigger on that I've left the home and need the house monitored. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to do that with this specific camera or even if it does it at all. But for its functions, it does have a lot of features that I don't already have in my home outside of you know, some of my products like my, my Amazon Alexa. The 360 tilt and pan, the baby monitoring crying, as well as motion detection and people detection is a really cool feature, specifically with this model. The next product I received was the Tapo Smart Wi-Fi light strip in multicolor. So I did have a little trouble setting this light strip up. It could have been a user error on my end, but there there is a, a huge advantage to this light strip once it is set up. If you're looking for that mood lighting in your space, this will definitely give it to you. 
you. This can be controlled with Apple HomeKit, Alexa, and Google. Currently, I have it set up with my Apple HomeKit. You guys know that I have lighting under my cabinet. There are certain places that I really like to add mood lighting or accent lighting in my home. It is something that I advocate for. You guys know how I feel about lighting in my house. So I do have lighting under my cabinet as is today that was provided from my apartment itself. It's the only lighting that I actually use in my kitchen. I never actually turn on the overhead lighting. If you're looking for an under cabinet lighting or lighting behind a television or lighting behind a bed of any sort, this is a good option. Right now, this is retailing for $36.99 on Amazon, which is a really good price for what you get. It does output about uh, 1000 lumens in brightness. It's not as bright as my current lighting setup under my cabinet right now. But what is beneficial on this side is that it is controllable through those three AI systems, HomeKit, Alexa, and Google, and it is multicolor. So if you want to switch up the mood and change the colors, change the vibrance, I really do like some of the presets that this light strip does come with in the app. There's an effect called Aurora, which I really like. If you guys have seen the new Pandora movie, it very much reminds me of that vibe. I love the colors that it, and you guys know I'm not really a big color person, but I do love the colors that kind of streamline across the light strip. It does add a nice little flare under the cabinet. Again, it's not as bright right as my current lighting setup. More so I would lean for this to be more mood lighting than anything else. But for again, for $36.99, you really can't beat it. It also has different like segments. One thing that's really hard to find in light strips is the ability to have multiple colors within one light strip. This one you're able to do, you're able to customize yourself. Again, there's those presets in the app that you can also use as well. If you want that option with other light strips, you're gonna spend a little bit more money than you would here. If you guys know, I have my Philips Hue light strip behind my television. And and uh, that light strip, very expensive. And I have a couple of them around my house and they are an investment for sure. And it syncs to sound or music. So if you're playing some music and you want your lights to kind of vibe out with the music, this will set up and sync to the music and kind of move the lights along to the beat of your music. Also, this doesn't come with a hub, which is huge. So this allows you to buy this product individually without having to buy a separate product in order to monitor this product. This particular model does come in 16 feet, which is pretty Pretty long. I was able to run my entire lighting under my cabinet and had a little bit left over and it is cuttable. So you'll just make sure that you're, when you're cutting the light strip that you actually cut on the lines with the little scissors. So the last thing I received was this mesh Wi-Fi router. Now this is for people who have much bigger homes than where I'm staying right now. Right now I'm in about 1500 square foot and this mesh Wi-Fi covers about up to 6,500 square foot. Now that is a huge house. For those of you who aren't exactly aware of what a mesh Wi-Fi router is, think about it like this. So you have either a modem and a router set up in one location of your home, and that's really supposed to transport the signal throughout their home. For the most part, if you don't have really, really strong Wi-Fi, you will run into dead zones or areas in your home where the Wi-Fi isn't as strong. This is where a mesh Wi-Fi system comes into play, so it's pretty much a Wi-Fi dead zone killer. For those of you who have larger homes, I'm sure there are places in your home where you your Wi-Fi doesn't reach or isn't as strong as it is somewhere else in the house. Specifically at my parents' house, my dad has a man cave in a shed outside in the backyard. This is great for him so he can actually plug one of these units out in the backyard inside the shed as well as have another one in the house and the third one somewhere else in the house. And it pretty much creates the connected frequency of extended Wi-Fi range for people to have stronger Wi-Fi in their home. You can connect up to 150 devices to this mesh Wi-Fi system, which is a lot of devices. For those of you who are into smart tech like me, that's probably easily doable. You have faster speeds up to 300 megabytes per second, and you have an easy setup in the Deco app in the App Store or Google Play Store. And again, this is ideal for you know homes that have four to six bedrooms. I do live in a one bedroom home. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that because of the little one coming, we are going to have to find a bigger home. So this is really gonna be beneficial when we do decide to move to a larger place. This right now is running for $184 on Amazon. Again, I said all the links will be down below. If you're looking to boost your Wi-Fi without having to spend extra money with your cable provider um, in order to do that, the best route is to get your own mesh Wi-Fi system, put them around your homes. Typically, you, you wanna put them in areas free from other large electronics like computers or stereo systems to avoid interference. And you wanna keep them out in the open. And you kinda wanna distribute them evenly throughout the home. So if you have 
one upstairs in the top left and then one downstairs in the middle and then maybe upstairs on the far right. That way you can kind of create this triangular Wi-Fi mesh system. That's the best way to use this or put it in areas where you see you are lacking in Wi-Fi signal. Those are the three items that TP-Link has sent over to me. I'm always looking for new ways to add to my smart home and ways that I can actually improve my next home wherever it may be. If you guys are interested in winning any of these three products, I'm picking three separate winners to receive one item. So that's three items that I'm giving away for three different people. What I need you to do is make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. I also need you to like this video. And lastly, I need you to comment down below which item you're most interested in and how you would use it in your home. And I will pick three winners and then I'll announce them in a later video. Okay, so I really wanna thank TP-Link for sending over these products to me. Again, these will be very helpful, especially as I move on into my next home or next space, wherever it should be. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like so I know that you enjoyed the video. And also if you wanna enter into the giveaway, be sure to follow all the rules that I mentioned before and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.